Hi, today we've got an FPGA. It's a Digiland Nexus 2 board. It uses the Silinx Spartan 3E. And uh, we will create uh, a project in which we will blink an LED to indicate the device is working and we will print out some data through the UART and the UART is connected to the RS232 converter and on the other side we will connect a converter to the USB from the RS232 so we will uh, read the data on the PC terminal so let's connect the board okay so we will use the USB for powering up and also for programming so make sure that you have the uh, jumper selected in the USB power position so plugging up the power the device boots up so now let's connect the uh, wire which we got for the communication and let's plug it into the D sub 9 port and let's take a look at the terminal okay so now we open the port and by pressing the button 3 we get printing 1 and uh, new line and we can see that uh, if we just simply select simple binary 2 bytes and uh, auto scale so we get the charter 1 which is the 49 in decimal and uh, new line which is 10 in decimal so now let's take a look at the project so i'm using the silinx eise and uh, to make it installed you have to have the virtual box installed so after that you just simply run it and uh, go to the project navigator so now let's uh, create a new project let's name it uart and the specification for the uh, chip i got is the spartan 3e and it's the version with the 500,000 uh, logic cells. So the package is uh, FG320 and uh, I use the VHDO language. So next, finish, and we got an empty project. So we got to add uh, something close to a main function, I mean main file. So it's a VHDA module. Let's name it uh, UART. M. Uh, we skip this section for now. You can declare uh, inputs, outputs here. That's for later. And we need to add a user constraint file, which is a, a file which has uh, definition, definitions for nets to the pins. So let's name it urc. Okay, and I got uh, some code already here for it, so I just copy it. Okay. And in the configuration file. Okay, and don't forget to change the name of the module to the one you just typed in, so you word M. And copy it in additional places here and here. Okay, fine. Uh, so this is the problem for it. So now let's uh, take a look what we got here. So first of all, maybe the, the, the pin definitions. So Mm -hmm. Those are the slider inputs, this is a LED, and uh, those are also LEDs. And this pin is connected to the 50 MHz oscillator, it's a clock source for the uh, devices you create here. 
And those are two pins connected to the uh, RS-232 converter. So this is basically UART. And this is the button tree that we uh, use uh, for printing charters through the UART. Okay, we can save it. Now let's go here. And in here at the beginning, we got the libraries included and we got the definitions for the pins. So input, the LEDs are outputs, the button is input, the clock is also input and uh, the pins for the keyword. So uh, text is output, receive is input and C is a LED. Okay, and right here we got, uh, let's name it uh, variables. So um, this is a variable for counting uh, clock cycles and we use it for the blinking the LED at uh, one second. So one second it's turned on and one second it's turned off. So uh, this is a, a variable uh, to know well, in which uh, state the LED has to be. So if it's on or off, so one or zero. And uh, this is the constraint value in which one we toggle the LED. So we have to count uh, 50 million times. Okay, so now we got variables for the UART. So uh, again, we got a counter of the main clock cycles and uh, a bit cycle. So how many bits we print. Uh, we got the about clock. So this is just uh, to know when we uh, got enough uh, main clock cycles. Uh, that uh, match the amount of uh, cycles to uh, generate a bit, one bit transfer to the UART. And again, we got this constraint of uh, clock cycles and it's uh, counted right here. So this many cycles of the main clock are equal to one uh, clock cycle of the UART. Okay, and now at the beginning, uh, we got the process for the LED blinking at uh, one second. So uh, if the edge of the clock, clock pin is rising, then uh, we check if the counter is uh, already at uh, 50 uh, million uh, value. If it is, we toggle. If uh, not, then we just simply increment the counter. So this is for the LED. And this uh, toggle value at the bottom is used in here simply to put the LED in this state. So now for the UART. We also check the uh, main clock if it's rising so we kind of count the cycles if we got enough cycles so the value right here then we can uh, change the um, transmit state pin so if the button is pressed then we begin the transmission so uh, to begin the transmission you have to put in the start bit and from 1 to 8 you print the charter you want so for example and here we print uh, 1 so opening up the calculator we see it's this value and uh, we print it in a order of uh, least, least significant. So the first one first. So first the high, 
three zeros and two ones and two zeros and then the stop byte i mean stop bit uh, which is high okay after that we print another byte and in this case it's 10 so this is the new line so as you see we begin with zero then one zero one and also on the next one are zeros so uh, start bit zero one zero one and zeros and the stop bit is high and after that uh, we put the takes a pin into high state if we don't print anything okay uh, so and in here we increment the bit cycle so which bit is printed right now so this is a hard code that you can al also compare with a variable uh, which byte you print from there so you can just print a message but this is for the test purposes okay so now let's uh, change the value we are printing so let's for example increment uh, from 1 to 2 so this will be simply 50 so we have to change from the first from 1 to 0 and the second one will be from 0 to 1 so this will be low and this will be high okay so now let's uh, save everything and go ahead and uh, generate the programming file so compile the whole thing it takes a while so i will just skip it okay so we got the file generated so now let's go to the file browser and uh, let's go to the project folder right here and we are looking for a bit file so let's copy it to the folder that is uh, shared between the virtual machine and the windows so let's put it in and uh, for the programming uh, we will use the uh, digilent uh, adapt first let's disconnect the board from the virtual machine and uh, let's start up the program and let's select the programming file and let's program it temporarily okay so now let's change the view okay so now let's open the port and let's press button 3 so we got printing from 49 to the 50 that we changed up in the file so so this works uh, so you can just uh, simply uh, compare the bits to a, a variable and you can print uh, uh, messages that you want so just an example of the UART communication so thanks for watching hope you find it useful in your projects and see you in the next one